So team, welcome back uh, to the continuation for our uh, QTP training uh, and we're in the day 13. So I believe we were working on the keyword driven framework. So let me open the uh, documents and then we can go forward. The second part of keyword driven framework. Let's see if I've updated the plan. Uh, all right, I think we've done significant. Let's see which is the script that we created, driver one. <laughs> All right, team. So here we are. Uh, let's take a quick look at what we've done. Uh, we started to work on the driver script. We have returned the test cases. I think this is partially done. We have initialized some parts of our test data. Now we are working on the driver script, right? So what is the whole intent? The intent is that we will create uh, the reusable functions for each of the regularly used keywords. Okay, identify what are the inputs that these keyword functions require to perform that specific method. Uh, methods on the typical objects that you find in an application and what we perform, what do we do on them, right? And some of them also return in terms of if it's a check function, if it's a pass or a fail. Now, there are uh, two, three important things, team, out here. If you look at our test cases, for each of these test cases, we have generated a few test steps and we said that let's start to give information out here, right? Now, there are two types of data team that you give as inputs for each test step, okay? For each test step, there are two types of data. The first uh, type of data that you may find is how to identify that specific object. Right, the information used to identify. The second is if it requires additional data to be provided. For example, when we want to enter a text into an edit field, when we are inputting a text there, I have to say how we will identify it and what is the text that we used to record, uh, what is the text that we are entering there, right? This free underscore text is unique to this specific enter technology field where we enter a technology, this is the identification for that. So this is unique to the test step. But the inputs that we provide here are not specifically input to a step. They are data items. What is the Internet Explorer? What is the URL? What technology? What city? And these can change, right? I don't necessarily need to stick with Selenium always. The URL can change to some other um, you know, uh, sandbox or a testing server URL and so on. So these things can change and that's why we need to create variables for them, all right? So I have a test data sheet that tells at a high level as to what are these variables that we may encounter, all right? Is this the 